Hi there, I'm Renee Stotes, the Womb Wellness Coach and Sound Healer. Now, when I introduce myself as the Womb Wellness Coach and Sound Healer, I get a lot of mixed messages and sort of confused faces sometimes from people going, what is she talking about? So, for this video today, I wanted to talk to you about the three main misconceptions about the work that I do as the Womb Wellness Coach and Sound Healer. The first misconception I often get when people hear the term or the phrase womb wellness coach is they often think that my work is all about fertility and helping people get pregnant. And now even though um, helping people with their fertility um, is part of what I do, that is not the main part or aspect of my business. For me, being a womb wellness coach is about helping women find a space for healing themselves um, and finding a balance between their body, their mind and their soul, especially for those of us who've, who've grown up over the last you know, few decades, um, as well as those who are a bit older as well, who we're living in this time of you know, varied extremes of feminism and, and this need to be equal um, when we compare ourselves to men. And what this does is we've we, we've become completely disconnected from the true wisdom of our bodies and the more disconnected we become um, the further into being um, as equal and as masculine as possible um, we go the more likely we are to have difficulties with um, our reproductive system so, so for me being a womb wellness coach is really about helping women learn to trust and reconnect with the inner wisdom that lies within their bodies. Um, when we learn to trust our bodies more, you know, things start to fall into place and, and before we know it, we're just we're able to live with this balance of between feminine and masculine and our health returns and we start thriving. As the womb wellness coach, it is about helping women you know, regulate their menstrual cycles, get um, less than or get rid of PMS, um, deal with things like endometriosis or PCOS or fibroids, um, helping with miscarriage and and abortion as well. So it's it's very much an all-encompassing um, area, but it definitely is not just about trying to get pregnant. This second misconception makes me giggle an awful lot and it's something that I get from the guys um, who are interested in my work. They often say, oh your work sounds so amazing but I can't take part in it because I don't have a womb. Um, and I sometimes will get that from women who have had hysterectomies as well. But the thing is, is that it's still good for everybody. Um, we all come from a womb, we all spent nine, ten months inside our mother's wombs and we're actually been influenced by that time in our mother's wombs. Um, so, you know, whether you're, you have a womb or not, um, you are a part of a womb, as well as the fact that we all live within one great big womb here on earth in this universe, it's just one big nurturing womb that takes care of us and protects us. There's definitely no reason, <laughs> definitely no reason for uh, saying, oh no, I can't come along to your, your group sessions or have healing with you because I don't have a womb. The third misconception um, surrounds my sound baths or sound healing meditations. And um, what I often hear from people is, can, can you tell me a little bit more about your sound baths? And then, they, they pause and you hear this, do I have to get into a bath in unclothed? Is this naked? Is there other people in the room? How does it work? In reality, a sound bath is simply you coming in um, to a room um, with several other people where I have my instruments. You can see my, my Himalayans, oh, sorry, my Himalayans and my crystals, getting them all confused there. Um, by creating this amazing soundscape for you to just relax in and drift away and let your imagination take over 
and just let the sounds bathe you in their frequencies and their vibrations. Um, it's an incredibly soothing experience, very relaxing, and it can take you on these amazing journeys, you know, seeing colors and feeling sensations or seeing these incredible visualizations in your head. So, sound bath is literally bathing your body in the sounds of these amazing healing instruments. It's not about getting naked. So I hope I've managed to dispel these three main misconceptions about my work as the womb wellness coach and sound healer. Um, what I'd like to know now is if you have actually had any little niggling thoughts at the back of your brain um, that have been going on there for a little while, um, or that you've been too afraid to actually voice, whether it's about my work or about somebody else's work. Um, especially if they're quite entertaining and, and it will make us laugh. We always need a laugh. So um, I want to hear from you about some of your misconceptions. Um, so please leave a comment below um, and I'd love to, well I can't wait actually to see what it is that um, you come back with. So um, thank you very much for tuning in today and we'll see you again very soon.